Oh, you remember the story I told you about my mate with the with the mouse, right? Uh, remember? I, I know I've told you this one. Maybe. Well, right. So I I had a mate growing up uh, called uh, Isaac, right? And um, he was from like a pretty, you know, I don't want to say like religious family, but like his dad was a bell ringer, you know. <laughs> Is that right? some so sort I'd... of weird innuendo, or literally a church bell ringer? No, oh, no, no, like literally a church bell ringer, you know. Okay. The um, campanologist is the word um and that that's that's how i know that right so he had um he had a mouse he had a pet mouse and uh, it got it got sick he had a mouse i can't remember the mouse's name and it got sick it got cancer oh my he... hamster had bear tumors when it died what bear tumors <laughs> <laughs> yeah like in the shape of a bear no but literally huge tumors on his head like well yeah this mouse got sick right so so it got a big it got a big old tumor in its stomach right and um, the, it, it kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And it got to the point where its legs were sort of stuck out on the side. <laughs> like a fucking inflatable balloon. Yeah, but the tumor was just big enough. It was like oh, sort of dragging itself around the cage, right? So I was like, yo, you got to do something about that motherfucking mouse. Like, you know what I mean? you got to yeah, put stomp the... on its head, probably. Yeah, yeah you got yeah, you got to kill it. Unless you know how to do rat surgery, man. <laughs> but, but like, because... Cause, I think his parents were like, well, look, God decides when oh, the mouse dies. It's one of them, you know what I mean? So, well, so I am made in God's image, so therefore I decide that the mouse shall die today. So anyway, down the road, there was my mate Rich. Oh, and yeah, Rich, I remember this now, yeah. There you do. So Rich, Rich's dad was a real, like, man's man, you know? Biker, heavy drinker, you know. And uh, I, I, Isaac was like, oh, what are we going to do about the mouse? And I was like, listen, uh, get a second opinion. And go talk to Rich's dad. So um, he, he like... Say it as if he's a vet or something. No, nah, just a biker. <laughs> <laughs> what so, do you think of these tumors, Rich? Ooh, he's fucked, man. So he took, he took the fucking mouse. Uh, in the cage down, you know, brought it over, and Bruce like pulled it out, and he looked at it, and it was all big, and you could see all the veins feeding the tumor. Just blah, blah, blah. It's like no. that thing out of Blade, yeah. You know, in the room with the monitors, like yeah. yeah. And he like he went, listen, Isaac, uh, you know, whatever the mouse's name was, let's call him Barry. He's <laughs> Barry's fucked. Yeah, he's like, Barry's, Barry's barely's gone. Yeah, Barry's in a lot of pain right now. So we, we have to do the best thing here, and we have to end his pain. You understand why that's the kind thing to do. That's the humane thing to do. And Isaac was like, yeah, I suppose. And he went, it's okay. We'll, 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 we'll do it now. And, and whatever you tell your dad, if, you, if, you, if your dad is upset, he can come and talk to me about it, and I'll explain why this was the best thing. He went, okay. So he, he took Barry to the garage, where he kept his bikes and he kept his tools and everything. And I don't know. I, I don't know what the appropriate humane way to kill a mouse that's riddled with cancer is. Probably I armor. don't know. I go with armor straight to the head, one yeah. end to the head. Well, he did. He, 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 in front he did. Of... <laughs> <laughs> he, t- he did. <laughs> he, he, he went for this, like, he took this, like, lump hammer off the fucking. <laughs> side of the wall it was like it was, this is like one of these childhood things that like it's just burnt into my brain it's just like one of those traumatic experiences that you go through as a child and he took barry out of the cage and he put him on the garage floor and he, <laughs> didn't like it on that cold garage floor <laughs> and, then, and then rish's dad lifted the hammer up and in one insane fucking scream. That's the worst part about it. Like he, <laughs> he put so much effort into killing this mouse. Like he screamed as he stabbed out. Like, like, like that. Like you like it was Vietnam or something. Yeah, like you had done something wrong with him. <laughs> and I swear to God he hit it so fucking hard. Barry was just a fucking stain on the garage floor. I don't even know where his parts went. He didn't even have, like, there was just nothing left. Didn't even have a tumour anymore. He like, smashed yeah. it out of him. He definitely didn't, mate. He didn't have a, he didn't have nout. He had nout. 
he was the the stain Your was on the, covered in blood all over his shins. Yeah, he, the stain was on the gar- garage floor for a while, many oh. years afterwards. But that was the sad, sad uh, ballad of Barry, like so.